uh, comics are stupid. No Harry Potter movie is good. Like, Give me the Snyder Cut! Oh, sorry. Just walk in front of you here. I'm gonna put my popcorn down. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna put this here. <laughs> Universal needs to sue Sony. Hey, I'm an idiot. I was fired from Fox. Let me go. <laughs> I'd like actually to see Venom just crush Spider Man. Hello everyone, so I'm back today and I want to talk about Loki. So this is a spoiler review, there will be spoilers, be aware of that. Now I don't have a lot to talk about about um, Loki, except for like in terms of the scene itself, and I'll talk about theories in a minute. I want to kind of give my overview on this episode itself. It was a good episode, but I mean the one fight scene, or the one big fight scene, or the kind of like big climactic third act scene, was the scene where they were running trying to get to that arc. and. Let me be honest, it was horrendous. It looked like a video game cutscene. It was awful and I mean it was it was bad. Like in terms of Marvel action scenes, that was by far one of the worst. That was it was just awful. Um I don't want a video game cutscene in the middle of my TV show. Um so that that bugged me. But other than that, I mean, you know, they did the gender fluid kind of bisexual Loki thing, which we all uh, figured they were going to do at some point in the show, which they did. Um, and I mean, yeah, that, that's pretty much it in terms of, in terms of that. Um, and L Lady Loki or whoever that is, I do believe that I'm right about this being some sort of, um, you know, combination of Lady Loki and uh, the Enchantress because she obviously doesn't call herself Sylvia, meaning that, or Silva or whatever it is, the meaning that that is true. Um, that the Marvel wasn't deceiving us with that, but then again, also talks about being a Loki, but then talks about enchantments and stuff like that, which I think could also be related to, which also is a very enchantress thing. So I mean, I think it'll be a combination of these characters, um, cause that's what makes the most sense. Now, uh, when it comes to actually the thing I want to really talk about is the, what I think is going to happen to end the show and then about the planet they were on and kind of that stuff. So how I think this show is going to end, this is a bold prediction I know, but if I'm right, I'm going to clip it. And if I'm not, I'm just going to pretend I never made it. Uh, so yeah, um, I think what's going to happen is I think what they're going to do is they're going to end with the, I think they're going down a Wizard of Oz type road right now in terms of who the timekeepers will be. And they'll be kind of just end up being like, you know, the Wizard of Oz from the Wizard of Oz in terms of being kind of like this, this illusion type thing uh, because of course they talked about how they're variants so I think that could be something where they will deal with um, in terms of it being very much a hoax situation. Now I think whatever happens though, if, even if the time groups have some level of control over the timeline, I think what's going to happen is they're going to end up being destroyed and this will be kind of the setup for mo the multiverse going forward because of course we know that without the control and the stopping of the TV, the TVA will basically be Basically, I think the TVA is done in in this, right? I think the TVA is going to be over, and I think what's going to happen from there will actually be, um, you know, you'll cr there'll be timelines, variants will travel through time, whatever, and create timelines, and those will be the mul that'll be the multiverse, right? And the multiverse will basically just be these timelines, and it'll be the, these alternate times, which is what the multiverse actually is. So it's not like it's far from the truth. Um, now the other thing I want, so that's that's my kind of theory for what's going to happen, and that'll set up kind of. The multiverse of madness and everything else going forward the multiverse is just going to be a timeline without a tva to kind of just to end end stuff right and so that'll kind of be the situation now the fact that all the tva agents are probably variants is um is cool but you know not surprising at all ish because it feels it does again feel like an aspect of smokescreen now when it comes to lamentus uh one and how it and what it what it means so it's only actually been in one comic, and I had to check because I had remembered it from this comic, and I so I had to just go back and quickly uh, do a quick Google search to make sure that I wasn't like completely spacing on something. But I was right; it was only featured in one comic, uh, and that was the Annihilation Conquest Prologue One. Um, I mean, there may, if there's another one, let me know down below. But after a quick Google search, I couldn't see it. So, yeah, and so. Now, in this case, of course, it was it, it's a Kree-controlled planet, so there could be some Kree. Um, I, we, I don't think we saw any. I'll have to go back again and look for sure, but I don't remember seeing any Kree or anyone uh, Kree-related. Um, but, yeah, it did have a very kind of interesting vibe because um, it is a Kree planet. Now, it, and, and, of course, the Annihilation, I mean, I don't know how much that has to do with it, but, of course, we know the Annihilation Wave uh, and the Phalac, Phalanax, um, of course, have both have to do with kind of the, the this situation. I don't know how much again th the one story it's featured in will have to do with the, the planet itself, 
but I think it'll be interesting to kind of see um, what occurs from that. I don't remember if it was actually on the the list of things that was that were cr kind of created by the timeline breaks, but um, I definitely think that that's something which we should, um, you know, this could be end up being something that happens. I don't think it does at this moment at least. But yeah, let me know what you think down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. What did you think of the episode? What was your favorite part? What was your least favorite part? And what are your theories going forward? Because I do want to hear all your theories down below uh, in the comment section. So leave that there. And thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye.